Hello everyone, this is Elias5891 here with another Katane module tutorial. Uh, we're hitting some more needies again. Uh, this time we're going to hit th um, three again. We're going to do Tetris Lights Out and Who's That Mons Blowed? We're going to start with Tetris. Uh, when it triggers, much like the game of Tetris, uh, you get a piece that's ready to drop. You position it, drop it. Get another piece, position it, drop it. Another piece, position it, drop it. You have to drop three pieces every time it triggers. And you have the length of the time limit to get those three pieces in. They don't automatically fall like in Tetris. They'll just fall when you hit the little down key. Uh, but you've got to get, you know, three pieces in every time it triggers. And it doesn't go all that high, although it's not as long as a normal Tetris board either. So kind of balances out a little bit there. Should trigger again here in a moment. Uh, and as you may have noticed when it first triggered, it does play classic Tetris songs. Uh, I'm actually going to... Boop. Notice uh, this is going to actually get me to the top row, so when I drop this one, uh, I'm going to be hurting the next time something comes in. That's not going to go well for me. Uh, but yes, uh, every time it triggers, You've got to get three pieces in, about 35, 40 seconds. Uh, it will keep playing the Tetris theme, and it kind of remembers where it paused. So each time it plays a later portion of the tune, so you don't get the same beginning notes each time. Alright, so I can put this here, here, all that's fine. Let's drop it there. Here's this. Let's make it go here. There we go. It's red because it's going above the thing. When I drop it, it won't let me. So let's, uh, we're going to skip ahead. This is going to fast forward. The idea is I'm trying to fill this up so that I have to, uh, so that I can't place a piece. Because you'll notice it wouldn't let me place a piece invalidly. It wouldn't let me place a piece that I couldn't actually place. The issue is, what if I get a piece and I can't fit it on the board because I've screwed up too many times? That's when you get the strike. Because the strike only comes... Uh, when the clock runs out. So you see here we have a long piece. Theoretically I could put it here, but if I hang on to it, no, oh, no, it doesn't fit anywhere. I can't get it to come down, or maybe I don't turn it correctly. I don't realize I have a piece. Get the usual beep warning that you get with the needy. You get a strike, and the catch is it doesn't clear it for you. So if you get stuck into this position, you're really working the clock at this point, because you have to keep trying to fit pieces in. And if you've got it to literally you can't fit any more pieces in, that's going to be a strike every time this module triggers. So that is something to be careful of. Uh, now notice none of this does anything when the module's not active, so... So that's Tetris. Uh, you play Tetris. Pretty straightforward. Uh, the second one, also very much based off of a, an old game, for, in my opinion, where is that? There it is. Lights out. I am really fond of the lights out module. I had a little lights out toy when I was a kid. Uh, for those who aren't familiar, it has a... Um, this is true for the module as well. And it's got a grid. In this case, it's 3x3. Three three. The old uh, electronic game had a 5x5. Five five. When it triggers, you got 40 seconds to turn all the lights out. You do that because any time you click a space, that space and every space that is adjacent to it orthogonally, north, south, east, west, up, down, left, right, uh, each touching space and the space itself will toggle state from on to off. So, for example, I can hit this one here and it would turn these three on, this would turn on, on, and off, so on, so on. Uh, and the idea is to eventually get all of the lights off like that. Uh, now, in doing so, 
I like to fiddle around with it till I get down to a single light being on. And then there's a method, a strategy, I guess, for each of the three possibilities, whether the single light is on in the middle, on an edge, or in a corner. So we'll fiddle around with this till we get one light on. Well, that was a... Uh, let's actually demonstrate a case. Here we go. I've got the center light on. If I have the center light on, if I hit the five kind of in the middle, the ones that make a plus, so the middle row and the middle column, each one time, boom, 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 lights are out. So if you can get it down to just one piece in the middle, make the little plus sign, lights go out. Alright, here's another one. Uh, this time I've got one in the corner. Corner's a little tricky. Uh, if you get one in the corner, go to the opposite corner. And excluding that particular square, hit everything in the row, everything in the column with it. So I'm going to hit everything in the top row and the right column, except for this corner square. Boom, 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 boom. And then I hit the square that was on the first place. So in the case of a corner, you're going to hit the corner itself, and then from the opposite corner, that row, and that column. Okay. Last situation, you have one on a side, which I had to uh, fiddle with quite a bit to get this to trigger. Uh, since this one is on the edge of the top in the middle, we're going to go to the opposite side, the bottom, hit all three of those, and then the center piece. So if you're on the edge, you're going to hit the opposite side, so this is the left edge, so I'd hit the right side, and then the one in the middle. I was going to do one more so we could play around with it, but uh, occasionally you get situations like this where it's like, oh, all I have to do is hit the one button and I'm done. So sometimes this one uh, gives you an easy one. Sometimes you got to play around with it a little bit. Uh, but if you can remember the three cases when you've got a center, a corner, or an edge being the only thing on, that's... Uh, oh, edge is on, so we do opposite edge and the middle. And if you can remember the tricks like that, this is an easy module to handle. Doesn't give you too much of time, doesn't drain a lot of effort, distract you for too long. I like this one though. It's very fun. Oh yeah. Uh, for this mission, if you do practice it in Porku's training missions, uh, he gives you a lot of strikes. A lot of strikes. 30. So uh, don't try to uh, self-detonate. It's going to be kind of difficult. Alright, last one. Who's that monsplode? Tip, it isn't Pikachu. Good to know. Not Pikachu. Alright. Uh, so, with who's that monsplode, uh, this does reference the same creatures from the monsplode fight module. Uh, and this is the page for the manual as well or for the uh, needy module, rather. Uh, and it's going to show you a Monsplode Shadow when it triggers. It should trigger any second now. There we go. Got 25-ish seconds, and I've got a Monsplode, and two options for its name. This is either Astron or Magmi, uh, and if I don't know them as the diffuser, you know, I'll try to give a description. Uh, it's kind of a jellyfish with a flower on it. Well, that's either... Astrin or Violan, so we hit Astrin. Now, unlike other needies, I get that one right, I add 20 seconds to the clock, but it doesn't stop. This is the koala. Uh, koala, I look over there, koala's name is Nibs. Next, uh, this one kind of looks like a jelly blob. Oh, that must be Magmi. Uh, this one looks like a jelly bean. Jelly bean is Pouse. Uh, this one looks like a, a monolith, or a block. That's probably Doxplode. 
Uh, it's a doggy. Now, these M's, these four dogs here, these are a little trickier. Uh, this is the doggy, it's got its tail up. Which means it can't be Valerium or Gloomium. So it's Cadrium or Flarium. You'll notice they have their tails up, Valerium has a tail down, Gloomium has a tail out. And of these two, you'll also notice the hair is a little different. Very tricky, but that does uh, show you a difference. Uh, so this one happens to be Flarium. Uh, this one's one of the carpets. So it's either Aluga or Lugrit. We'll put in Lugra. This is Paus again. Notice I'm at 67 seconds now. It does cap you at 80. So I can't go above 80, even if I get a bunch of them right. So unlike other needies where you deactivate it, leave it alone until it kicks itself back on, this one you can kind of control a little bit more. You are in control of how many seconds you leave on it, and thus you know from the get-go how long you have till you need to get back to it. You can let it drain until it's down to like 5, 10, 15 seconds, score several up real quick, get it back up to a minute plus, and then ignore it for another minute. You may just get one here or there when you have a second. It's It, it lends itself to uh, giving you a couple options. Now, if you do get run wrong, uh, I don't know which one this one is. This is one of the newer ones, Simba, uh, Cutie Pie, Buhar. Let's say I missed this one. This one is Mere Chat. Nope. Notice, strike, clock keeps going. Strike, clock keeps going. So, if you make a strike, you don't gain any additional time. You also don't stop it from going. Uh, so I detonated, I pulled it back up, because I want to demonstrate, if you do leave it too long and you don't know them well, let's have this trigger, 25 seconds, uh, that would be Glorium, or Glurium, uh, because Bob is a uh, uh, Timmy from Undertale. But let's say I get a little confused. I'm like, oh, it looks kind of like a dog-ish thing. That must be Bob. So I let it go down. Maybe I don't notice until, you know, I'm over here doing my modules. Oh, two seconds. Got to put it in there. Bob, wrong. Oh, crap. And then I don't have time to get the other one. Get a second strike for letting the timer run out. That at least does deactivate it for a little while. But I've double struck myself. Definitely something to watch out for. You do not want a double strike. It is not fun. Because then if you make even one mistake on this, or any other module for that matter, you're done. So uh, be aware. Don't let it get too low. But especially if you've done the module, experted it a lot, you'll know who they are for the most part just by looking. You may need some clarification on the carpets or on the dogs, or on the jellyfish. But I think for the most part, if you've done the module a lot, the fight module, this needy shouldn't be too difficult. But anyway, that's it for this one. Uh, that's Lights Out, Tetris, Who's That Mons Blowed. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, until next time, it's been Elias. Have a great one, and I'll catch you next time. Don't explode. Bye.